So here's a look at the Hav Beta from Havsco. It's a step through folding bike. You can see here. We'll start, let's start first with the front of the bike, the tires. It uses 20 by four fat tires. The same size tire on both. The brakes here are hydraulic disc brakes. The front of the bike here features a, the fender does not come with it. So that one was added to the bike. It's got front suspension, a, the Hav, Havsco logo right here, and a light. Go into the middle of the bike. The battery attaches into the frame, integrated removable battery, giving a nice clean look. The color of the bike here is purple, uh, which is pretty nice because it's not a normal purple color compared to other bikes. And then moving the pedals here, these pedals can fold up actually. A rear rack which I've added to the bike. And then rear fender as well, which I added. It's got seven speeds. And a light, not an integrated rear light, it's a removable one, but it does slide into this little um, slot here. So it's an easy slide it in. The seat here is a Hobsco branded seat that can slide up and down and going to the to the handlebars it's a straight handlebar you've got zoom hydraulic disc brakes left and right you got thumb throttle here on the left side um, your control pad here power button pedal assist level and a light you got the lcd screen which shows your pedal assist power and speed and battery power and then other information. And then seven gears as well. Handlebars are okay. Kind of plasticky material. You could easily switch those out if you wanted. And this handle stash uh, cup holder is just one I added to it. And let's show you how easy it is to remove the battery. So it just pops right out. You see here, it's a heavy battery. Comes with a light actually too on the battery. So if you needed to light something up in the dark, you could. And then put it in, it just slides right in. So that is the overview of the Hogsco. Okay, so my impressions of the bike, of the Hav Beta. We're currently taking it to run some errands. And right off the bat, this bike is a very comfortable bike. It's got the big tires, put you kind of low to the ground. So it's more of a, I'd call it a more of a moped style bike. Uh, if I had to describe it. And the nice thing though, is that even though it is a moped style bike, and sometimes you can get that situation where it can be difficult to pedal because of the position it puts you in, because this, the Hav Beta has a adjustable seat, it makes it a lot easier to pedal because you can adjust the seat to the correct height for yourself. So the torque sensor is the big thing with this bike that, I had to get used to when I first got it because all my other e-bikes I have are cadence sensors. Um, I think I have one other torque sensor bike, but for the most part I have cadence sensor bikes, which basically when you have a cadence sensor bike, all it's doing, the pedal assist sensor, is just seeing if the, if the 
pedals are rotating and every time it does it, it's gonna send, send you a boost of power based on whatever pedal assist level you're at. With a torque sensor though, it's based in on the pressure that you put on the bike. So if you're not used to that, if you're more used to the cadence sensor, which most people are gonna be used to that one, you'll feel like, oh, why isn't this bike going faster? And it's because this bike is meant to match your, the speed, the, the power that you put into the pedals. So when I first started, I was just kind of pedaling my normal way, which is I'm just barely pedaling and I wasn't going very fast, which made me think, oh, what's up with this? Is it just uh, underpowered? But actually, if you really get this thing moving, if you start pedaling for real, the pedal assist does the same thing. It picks you up. It starts moving a lot faster. So of course, we can kind of look here at the cockpit of the bike here, the handlebars. Um, I uh, first, the you know, you got the the two brakes here. You got the throttle on the left side, which this is a comfortable throttle. I'm usually I usually prefer twist throttles, but this throttle is actually totally. Uh, a different type of thumb throttle I think that I'm used to and it, I really like it. I think it's a good one. It's got a nice little padding on it too, which makes it a lot more comfortable to ride. And then you've got this LCD screen, which does pretty good. It gives you a lot of information on it and it's uh, pretty bright even in the sunny weather here. You might not be able to see it well on the screen or on the video here, but even in the sunny weather, I'm able to see it, which can usually sometimes be difficult to see. So besides that, you've got the shifters on the right here, seven speeds. Um, on an e-bike, I don't really shift that often, but you can see it shifts very easily, very smoothly, no problems. And you've got the different power, uh, different levels here. You've got five levels of pedal assist, which allows you to change the pedal assist as you're riding. And then there's also a light, which it's daytime so you won't see it, but if you hold the light, you get the light on the front. And then that's basically the these handlebars here when you're riding. I added this handle stash uh, bike holder it's a quick release so I can switch it between my different my different bikes as needed. So I just put it on here. It's not permanently on this bike, so I move it around. Oh. So in terms of speed, in terms of power, this bike is great. It's got a lot of power to it. Uh, I currently have it on class two mode, so it'll max out about 20 miles an hour. With the Hovsko app, you can actually put it up to class three, so it'll go 28 miles an hour. For those of you who like a lot of power and speed, that's obviously a nice thing they added because it makes it street legal. Um, and if you want, you know, usually you're not supposed to have class three bikes on bike trails. So it's kind of nice that you can have it at class two, switch over to class three if you want. And you can see with the, with this bike, uh, you're gonna probably throttle more than most just because of the seating position of it. But yeah, I really like the power that it has in this bike. It's a good, good solid power. And you can see if I pedal really hard, I can get myself, the motor kicks in much more powerfully. So it takes a little practice to understand the torque sensor, but once you get it, it's very much more natural. I think that this bike would be really good, particularly for people who are kind of um, newer to e-bikes. So someone like um, my mother, for example, she's not super comfortable on a regular e-bike because the motors kind of send her flying. But on a bike like this, she'd be able to pedal kind of regularly and kind of get herself used to it, you know, because the motor is just very natural. It matches with your, with your power. So, you know, when you're pedaling, 
you can see here right now I'm just kind of pedaling normally and it's sending me forward it's not like like I'm not putting a ton of power into the pedal as I go so yeah here's the view we got here on this bike path one of the nice things about spring in Minnesota so yeah I really do like, I always like these. The tires on this bike, on the Hav Beta, are the 20x4 tire, fat tires. And I like the 20x4 fat tires because it puts you kind of lower to the ground, which is kind of nice, especially if you're riding like in the, in like the winter. Because, you know, this is a bike I'll use a lot when it's snowing or icy. And being a lower to the ground like that makes it easier for me to kind of put my foot down if I need to, uh, get my balance on like some slippery ground or something and it's also nice that if you're doing like food delivery like you're doing DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grubhub having a bike that's lower to the ground like this it makes it a lot easier to get on and off and it doesn't sound like a big deal like to have to get off quickly and to get back on the bike quickly but you know food delivery can be Kind of tiring and can kind of take a toll on you and you'll be surprised at how much better it is when you can kind of jump on and off a bike really quickly so that's one thing i really do enjoy about this uh you know the, the brakes on this bike are zoom hydraulic disc brakes and they get the job done you know i feel very comfortable on a bike like this and i think that a lot of people would feel very comfortable on a bike like this and you know, because it has the fatter tires too, it makes it, you know, really, it makes it really work out well for kind of city riding like this. You know, you hit the bumps, no problem at all. And it has a front suspension, so that also helps absorb some of the bumpiness if you're, you know, riding somewhere with uneven ground. You know, you could probably take this off-road too. I don't really do a lot of off-road biking, so, I'm not probably going to do that, but you could probably take this off-road too. It would definitely do fine on rocky ground or, or dirt ground for sure. And now here we are going kind of into the street. And this is the nice thing about a bike like this. See, if you wanted to, you could put it at class three and easily keep up with traffic, no problem. Even in class two mode, I'm easily 20 miles an hour, totally fine on these kind of side streets here. I don't think not too many cars are gonna get mad at you for your speed. So I haven't, I haven't done a full range test yet. I didn't actually have the bike fully charged up when I was, before I took off on this trip. So uh, the place I'm going is about five miles away. On the return, it'll be five miles. So I'll have plenty of battery. Shouldn't be a problem at all. So yeah, if I had anything to say about this bike, I mean, anything negative, you know, it does, the motor is kind of loud, I guess. It seems louder than like some of my other bikes. Like I can really hear it going. That's not a bad thing necessarily. I just, I hear it a lot more compared to some of my other e-bikes where I don't really hear them that much. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it up to class three since we're here anyway. So I'm gonna take a little break here. We'll put it up to class three mode. So you can see right here in class three mode. I'm at 21 now, but I'm only on pedal assist three. I'm gonna put it up to pedal assist five. And it should on power assist five. And that should get me going. And with a little pedaling, you can see I'm going 24. Ah, can't seem to get myself up to 28 though. I'll have to figure that out, but I had to put in a little power into it, that's why. I'm also kind of going uphill. So 24 right now, going up the hill. I got up to 24. I, 
I'm not quite sure how to get it to 28. Let's see. Let's see, with the throttle going, while I'm in power five. Hmm. Let's see, so in pedals, in, yeah, so in class three mode, I'm definitely able to get it to 24 pretty easily, but I don't seem to be able to get it higher than that right now. But I also may just, just may not know what I'm doing. Yeah, I seem to max out 24 right now. I'll have to do a little research and see why I can't get it higher. Not a big deal though. 24 is still fast enough for me. Yeah, so right here, you can see I can ride on the main street here. And I feel pretty comfortable riding on this main street. Just because I can keep up with traffic. So you can see I'm going 22 on this one. And these are 25 mile per hour streets, so I'm not so far off. But we're almost where I need to go. How long did it take me to cover that five miles? So to cover five miles that I got here, I mean, my filming time on this was 19 minutes. So about 19 minutes to cover five miles. Well, you know, a lot of places drive five miles is gonna take you long, as long as that. So for a city bike, this one I think is a great one. And you know, the fact that it folds up makes it a lot easy that makes it pretty good for, it makes it good for a city bike because you can you know if you live in a small place you live somewhere without a garage you know an apartment or something it's very easy for you to just fold it up take it in with you see so one thing nice about torque sensors when you're riding kind of like in a spot like this where you're just in the middle of everything you can just kind of pedal slowly just like a normal bike and it's not gonna jolt forward, which is nice. Oh, right here. Okay. So, just some other things to look at as we look at the bike here on this little recent ride down here. The rear rack is helpful, as you can see. I've got myself just kind of a little um, little city bag here on the back. It's just a just um, so I can hold some basket on the back too if you wanted. I just stuck with that for now, and I've got my cup holder here. So yeah. Nice thing with a e-bike is you just park it right in front of where you need to go and so right now we we're gonna eat some lunch <laughs> gonna ride this bike back got about five miles to go and I'll just make sure I don't bump into people so I don't know if I mentioned how the handlebars are it's kind of like a straight bar across um, I like it you know I kind of like the curved swept back bars and these kind of straight bars kind of mainly because it can gives you this kind of upright position it's a little more comfortable that way, you know? Since I'm a, uh, since it's an electric bike, you got an e-bike, you don't really care about having, you don't really need it to be um, aerodynamic. So, having bars like this is pretty nice. I guess as well, I'd say the bars are pretty good.
and you can see the if you can see it here I got the uh, the suspension there so it's bumping up and down there's no rear suspension but the front suspension is good and is good enough for the city right here I'm going to kick it and get in front of this car he's not gonna like it get myself off that busy street <laughs> so who is this bike best suited for well I'd say if you live in the city and you have limited storage space this is a getting a folding bike is a must and for a kind of a good budget and folding bike it's a great one you know, of course, you could go much more high end on a folding bike, a folding e-bike. You know, Brompton comes to mind, but you know, Brompton's going to cost you maybe two, three, probably three times more than this bike. So you can see kind of why you would want to do this, depending on your budget. Yeah, so that's probably that's probably the first person who would be really target for this bike is someone who just needs to be a, have a small convenient powerful bike get around the city and can fold up and store easily because if you live in a apartment or you don't have a garage you know you could just fold it up bring it in and you're good another option another person would be good is I think someone who's kind of small it would be good is I mean I'm I'm five foot ten about 150 pounds and you know, this bike fits me very well, I think. It's not like the best for pedaling if I want to like use like a real, like a normal bike, but it's good for, good for what it, for, I mean, it fits fine for my size. And I can definitely pedal it, and I can pedal it extended while and feel totally good. Um, but it definitely will be real good for someone who I think if you were someone who is like pretty small, this would be a comfortable bike for you because not only can you can hop on it, you know, the step through frame, the small, low to the, low to the ground base, makes it real comfortable to ride for someone who's shorter. So a third option for who this bike would be good for, um, someone who's doing deliveries, food delivery, I think would be a great bike. For that you've got the rear rack so you can put a basket or something you know to hold the food and because it's so compact and small it's easy to bring it into places you know if you need to put it into like an entryway or um or like bring it into a apartment or something that you're um, delivering to very easy to do that I probably wouldn't fold it up. It takes too long to fold it up to do that. So you wouldn't like fold it up and put it inside, but it's small enough. I mean, it's not super long of a bike, so you could wheel it in easily into an entry of a restaurant, entry of an apartment building or something. Yeah, and then, you know, I mentioned this before, but the low, the step through frame makes it very comfortable to get on and off the bike quickly, which helps you a lot when you're you know, if you're putting, if you're doing a lot of deliveries and stuff, it is very helpful to be able to get on and off a bike quickly. So, that's another option for someone who would this be good for. And you know, someone who just likes to kind of cruise around. Because, I mean, this bike is a comfortable cruising bike. So, I mean, I'm cruising right now, I'm not really going like, I'm not like flying right now. And this is a comfortable cruising bike. I can cruise, enjoy myself, you know, a day like this. You know, there's like a probably better cruising bike. You know, you probably want to update, upgrade the seat or something if you were gonna use it for like, you know, just riding like that for fun. Um, but yeah, this bike works out very well for someone who just likes to kind of enjoy themselves. And 
you know, someone like like if I had a choice between getting like a moped or getting like a bike like this, I would go for this every time because you're gonna be able to ride in the bike lanes, it's gonna take less maintenance, it's gonna be cheaper, you know. So I think what we're gonna do actually is since we're out and about, I'm gonna try and turn on the DoorDash and Uber Eats and stuff and see if we can get any deliveries. Cause if we can, I might I might run a delivery. And kind of show how you can use this bike as a delivery bike. Yeah, and there's definitely a I mean this is a bike that it's, it's fun to throttle this bike too, you know. It's strong, it really gets going, it's got kick to it. I really enjoy it. Yeah, so see in terms of the suspension and stuff, this bike is really uh it really is good for city because you know here it is this this bike path it's a little bumpy but with the fat tires and the front suspension really don't feel anything on it very smooth ride so you know maybe if i was going to do something i probably might upgrade the seat the seat's not the best seat the, whatever the stock seat is a little bit hard I may upgrade the seat to a, uh, kind of one of those squishier seats, but we'll see. All right, we just got a DoorDash delivery request, a double order actually, paying $9.25. So we are gonna go pick that up on the Hav Beta and see how it performs. The order is a Crispin Green salad place and a Subway. Should easily fit in my panniers. It's not going too far either. So one thing is delivering on the Hav Beta should be, it's a pleasant experience because, you know, you're not getting a lot of bumps, so it keeps the food from getting damaged or whatever. If you're carrying drinks, um, you know, same thing, it'll bounce less. And then of course the quick on and off, which I'll show you when I get there, just how useful that is. So, yeah, you could saw how easy it was for me to just pop them off the uh, bike. Thank you. Okay, we just got that order. You can see with my panniers, I got a nice little spot to put this. Actually, I'll put it on the other side. I'll go pick up this crisp and green. Okay. John D. Why did not give me in a thing? We are gonna drop these two off. Um, I don't have my actual like delivery backpack, so I'm just gonna hold this salad. I've got the Subway in the bag there, so. One thing that's nice about a throttle e-bike like this is I can just throttle. I'm holding this food like this. Don't have to worry about bouncing around. Now I think about one thing that is missing on this bike that would be useful is a bell. And it doesn't come with a bell. I might put, I mean, you know, I can just put my own bell on it. They're not expensive, but that would be nice to have. Got 
you right here. Eric. There you go. Have a good one. Okay, we just got just dropped off that order. Now we got to get to this. Huh? It's a bunch of construction going on here, so it makes it a little bit more annoying to get around. Okay, so I've been riding for a bit. I hadn't didn't have this charged up all the way. I'm now at three bars, so still solid. I think it has plenty of range. You know, with a full charge, I'd have no problem getting you know using this to do deliveries for a while. Hey, how you doing? There you go. Have a good one. All right, so we just finished our two deliveries. We'll probably call it a quits on that one. Very fun bike to ride. So final thoughts on this bike. I think this is a great bike. I think it's super fun to ride. Uh, I think it's a very versatile bike as well, especially if you add the racks to it and everything. It really gives a lot of, you know, next thing I wish I had put the front rack, I wish I had gotten the front rack too. But um, I think there's a very versatile bike that is really, you know, useful for a lot of people, you know, city living, commuters, people just want to ride for fun. This bike definitely can cover all of those bases. And at the price point it's offered at, you know, typically about 1700 bucks, depending on sales. I mean, it's under $2,000 bike and you get a lot for it. You know, obviously things you want to be aware of with an e-bike that you're buying online. Um, you know, you got to figure out how you're going to maintain it. Most bike shops can handle just about everything with an e-bike. Um, but you got to be careful because some bike shops won't work on, on e-bikes because unless they sell them. So luckily here in Minneapolis, I found a, I found a shop that's willing to work on any e-bike. So. That's very helpful for me, but um, even if you know, if you're just um, even if you're just if you just have like regular things to do, tune-ups, those kind of stuff, most every bike shop can handle that. Uh, but you want to be aware, you know. And if you're a little handy, it's always helpful because you know when the bike comes to you, you saw the assembly video when I put it together. Um, you got to do it yourself, you know. Obviously, I mean, you can probably take it to a bike shop and they'll do it for you. But a little bit of knowledge about how bikes work is useful. So that's just one thing to be aware of, you know. If you're not comfortable doing any of your own work and you really want support, you might want to go for a bike that um, they sell at a shop. You know, most of the bikes though, most bike shops that sell, they're gonna be much more expensive than this, especially a folding bike like this. You know, a comparable folding bike is probably something like a Brompton, which is gonna be two or three times as much, I think. So, just a thing to be aware about. But overall, this bike is a ton of fun. It's definitely one of my favorite bikes I've currently got right now. You know, when it comes to styles of bikes and form factors of bike, folding bikes are very useful. The fact that you can store it away, stick it in the back of your car, you know, in your trunk or something if you need to, or if you have a hatchback probably is better. Um, you know, all these things are just very useful. So I'm glad I've got this folding bike now. And this is definitely a bike I would recommend for anyone looking for a good folding fat tire e-bike. Um, you know, when I when it comes to winter, once it gets to winter time again, I'll probably do another update video on this bike just to kind of show how I use it in the winter. Because this bike is definitely going to be one of my winter bikes just um, because of the fat tires, you know, so it can help me get around. All right, so yeah, so overall, great bike, really enjoy it. I think it's useful for a lot of people. Definitely recommend you check out the Hav Beta if you're in the market for a folding 
fat tire e-bike or even through the market just for a regular any regular e-bike or a fat tire e-bike this is a great bike that can fit a lot of different people so yeah that's going to do it for this review um you know i hope you saw what i was able to do with it i was able to take it for you know a five mile trip grab some lunch run some small errands do a few doordash deliveries too on the way and uh and yeah, and really getting, you know, enjoy myself on this nice day. Way better than hopping in a car, that's for sure. So yeah, if you have any questions uh, about the Hav Beta, you know, feel free to leave a comment, shoot me an email. You know, I've got a full review of this bike on my website as well, if you want to check it out. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.